Hello everyone, welcome to Equation. So we're going to start off with the basics. So if you get given a question like this, oh, but first, Kevin, what is an equation, okay? So I know that most of you know what equations are, but sometimes kids get a bit confused. So equations, if you see carefully, you can almost see the word equal. Equals, okay? So there's an equal sign in equations. Whereas if I just gave you something like this and I said factorize, that's not an equation. That's just a factorizing question. As soon as I add an equal sign, then all of a sudden it's an equation. So with factorizing, for example, like in that example over there, it's a trinomial, and I'm just going to do this quickly, you would end up with x minus 4x plus 1, and that would be your answer. However, when you're busy with an equation, you actually have to end off your question by saying x is equal to something. So these are the easy ones that you guys might have started doing in grade 6, maybe grade 7, definitely grade 8 where all you do is you try to get all the x's on the one side and all the numbers on the other side. So this little 6 over here needs to move over. When it does move over, it becomes the opposite sign of what it was. So it was a negative, now it becomes a positive. So then we end up with 3x is equal to, whoa, Kevin, that's 14. Oh, that's why I was confused. That's a 6, so it becomes 15. Uh, then 3, okay, so 3x is equal to 15. Let me just write that a bit neater. So now what we do is we need to divide both sides by 3 to get x by itself. And so x is going to be equal to 5. Here's another one. So this 6, you're in the wrong place, buddy. You need to move over to the other side because we want all the x's on one side and all the numbers on the other side. So that becomes 3, 6 is equal to 6. I mean, 3x is equal to 6. Goodness, what is going on? You then divide both sides by 3 in order to get x by itself, so x is then going to be equal to 2. See why I divide by 3? Because look here, then I can cross this out, and all that remains is x, and that's what you want. Okay, with this one, you want all the x's on one side and all the numbers on the other side. So you can choose, but what I'm going to choose is to put the x's on the left, and I want all the numbers on the right-hand side. So this x over here that one's in the correct place because it's already on the left. This one is not. And then this number is also in the wrong place because it's meant to be on the right. So what we do is we do the following. We bring this 2x over to the left. So it is positive at the moment. So when it comes over to the left, it will have to become a negative. Then this 8 over here is currently positive. So when it lands up on the right hand side, it's going to have to be negative. Now 4x minus 2x is just 2x. Then I divide by 2 on both sides. Why? Because then I can cross out those 2s and I've just, I'm just left with x. And so x is equal to minus 4. Here's another one. So let's say all the x's are going to go to the left. So this thing is in the wrong place. And so is this. Why? Because this is a number. And we said all the numbers are going to go to the right. And this is an x, and we said all the x's are going to go to the left. So what we do is we say 5x, then this 2x over here needs to move over. So it's going to become minus 2x. Then this minus 3 needs to go onto the other side and become a, the opposite sign of what it was. So it becomes a plus 3. So 5x minus 2x is 3x. 6 plus 3 is 9. And so if you divide both sides by 3, why do I divide both sides by 3? So that I can cross that out over there. And then all that's left is x. So x is 9 divided by 3. So x will be 3. Okay, with something like this, you want to multiply the brackets out first. So that will become 2x minus 8 equals to 3x plus 6. Now you can decide if you want to put the x's on the left or the x's on the right. It doesn't matter. Let's just put the x's on the left. So this one will need to move that way. And then all the numbers are going to go to the right. So that one will go that way. Okay, so we can start off by writing 2x. Then this 3x is going to move. So it's going to turn into negative 3x equals to 6. Then this minus 8 is going to move to the other side, so it will have to become positive, because it was negative. Now 2x's minus 3x's gives you minus 1x. 6 plus 8 is 14. All you do is you divide by minus 1 on both sides. Why do I divide by minus 1? So that these cancel out, and all that you're left with is x. So x is going to be negative 14. With this one, you want to get rid of the brackets, so you multiply the minus 3 in, so it's minus 3x. Minus 3 times minus 1 becomes a plus 3. 
this becomes 2x and this becomes minus 8. I'm just going to put all the x's on the left so this one will need to move and then all the numbers are going to go to the right. So we're going to end up with minus 3x minus 2x because this one was already positive so on the other side it becomes negative minus 8 this 3 is positive, so on the other side it becomes a negative. Minus 3 minus 2 is minus 5. Minus 8 minus 3 is minus 11. Now we just divide by minus 5 on both sides. Why? Because if I do that, that part cancels out and look what I have left. X. Okay, then you can just go type that part in on the calculator and you're just going to get 11 over 5. Don't stress if you end up with a fraction. It's totally okay. And here's another one. So we want to get rid of the brackets, so we multiply it inside. So it's minus 3x and then minus 6. Minus 3x equals 2. Then you multiply this in. So that's 3x plus 3. I'm going to take all the x's to the left, all the numbers to the right. So this number needs to go this way. And then this number needs to go that way. So what do I have on the left already? Well, I've got a minus 3x and I've got another minus 3x. Then I'm going to bring this one over so it becomes negative. Now what do I already have on the right? So I've got a 3. Then when this minus 6 ends up coming over, it switches signs, so it becomes positive. So minus 3 minus 3 minus 3 is minus 9x. 3 plus 6 is 9. I divide both sides by minus 9 and minus 9. Why minus 9, Kevin? Why not just 9? Because if I divided by, if I only divided by 9, let's quickly have a look at that. Then I could cross out this part, but then you don't have x by itself, you've got this negative over there. So you want to get the x completely alone, so you divide by minus 9, now x is alone. And so 9 divided by minus 9 is minus 1, and so the answer there is minus 1.